What is up, players? It is I, Warboss Tay, up in this mug. Welcome to a little introduction of the Game of Thrones podcast that I will be recording with the lovely lady boss. The two of us are going to be, we, we've kind of planned it out. We love this show so much. I actually have uh, read the first four books, haven't read the fifth one. And I have no idea when the 6th and the 7th are coming out. But I, I really loved it. Before the HBO show came along, I was a book reader. I read all the books and I absorbed it and I loved it. And I was like horrified at all the, the twists and turns. And I was just thinking like, man, this is a crazy story. Game of Thrones is crazy. And then when I heard that HBO was making a TV show, I thought, no way. They can never do that. It's too big. There is too much going on. You could never make a show out of it. I refused to watch it. Hm. And I didn't watch it until season, like, four, I think. I th Yeah, I think it was season four was coming out. I was hanging out with the lady boss, and I saw it on, I think, HBO Go or TV On Demand or something. And I thought, you know, uh, I've heard so many good things about this show. Why not just get it over with? We'll watch an episode or two. And both of us, she'd never read the books. Didn't know anything. I, I'd read them, like I said, years ago when they first came out, before it was cool. And I remember watching that first episode. The minute the, uh, the minute the the first scene where the gate goes up, the three guys, the Night Watch brothers, go out into the uh, wilderness north of the wall. I remember thinking, oh, I remember this. This was kind of what drew me into the book, the very first book, A Game of Thrones. I remember reading this chapter and uh, just being hooked because of the action and the, the suspense and the, th the whole thrill of that first, first uh, episode, that first scene in the first book, in the first chapters. And so when I saw it on screen, I thought, wow, wow, they, they might have something here. And then the theme song hit and I was sold. I love this show so much. And as a book reader, former book reader, I'm glad that I can say I don't remember much of the books. I love the books so much that I didn't want to get into the TV show. And now that I'm in the TV show, it's been so long that I don't remember the books. And um, so obviously I'm going to go back and read the books again. But being a TV show watcher, the lady boss and I have just... We binge watched this show with ice cream and then with like cheese and grapes and then with cereal and milk like every night It was a different snack that we would sit on the edge of our bed and we would just like be Mindlessly munching away whatever we had in front of us. I wish you could see my fingers right now I'm kind of like making this motion like uh, how a mouse I imagine eats crackers like And we'd be eating and we'd be watching and we'd be like oh And that right there is Game of Thrones for me for us so I imagine that there are a couple of people out there who are listening to this right now that enjoy Game of Thrones as well because it, it, it is a fantasy world. It's an intellectual property that is kind of reminiscent of the things that we grew up with, dragons and fantasy and swords and um, Tolkien, Hobbit, Fellowship of the Rings, that kind of stuff. And um, as a person who paints miniatures where a lot of those games are either Lord of the Rings inspired or Warhammer Fantasy, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I think Game of Thrones is a great thing to, to kind of talk about and to podcast about. So the Lady Boss and I are going to do our own podcast. And we've decided to call it, my idea of course, The Bear and the Maiden Fair. Now to be... Uh, full in full disclosure here, to be perfectly honest, I I had to look up a bunch of names that I wanted to call our podcast, and uh, they were all taken, I guess. So then I came upon this because I remembered the episode, the Bear and the Maiden Fair, and I thought, oh, that's a fantastic name, and it it's kind of like the two of us. I'm this like big lumbering, uh, slovenly, sloppy, fuzzy creature, and uh, the lady boss is uh, quite the fair maiden. So then I actually looked it up, and there's there was this other uh, podcast called The Bear and the Maiden Fair, but um, they they haven't been posted. I haven't seen any episodes, and I think I've I tried to click on all of their social media links, and um, I I can't find any. So if if you know the Bear and the Maiden Fair podcast that came before, then uh, 
if, if they're still in existence, please let me know. I don't want to step on any toes. But uh, if not, that is what we're going to call it. It is going to be so awesome. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, man. This show is so good. We actually started watching again. I'm taking notes. And she's just, you know, remembering the first couple of episodes. It's so funny. When you rewatch a show from the very, very beginning. And you see how much everybody's grown and, and aged. And then, uh, like, I find myself and the lady boss every couple of minutes watching the show, watching episode one and saying, oh, yeah. <laughs> and, oh, that's right. Like, because we remember things that, you know, happen that just kind of get buried af under the years and years of content that this awesome show has put out. I think Game of Thrones might be my all-time favorite TV show. And that is, that is no light statement that I just made. Because there are, there are some contenders for that. And uh, I think the, the quality of the storytelling, the consistency of it, the, um, it's, it's, been, it's consistently good. I can only think of one storyline that really has kind of bummed me out because I was just kind of like twiddling my thumbs. And every time they would show these two characters in this one setting, I'd be like, oh man, come on, move it along already. But other than that, like everything, everything in this show kind of builds it builds from what came right before it and then it always leads to the next thing and the next thing and the next thing and, and it always makes sense. Every, uh, every, everything makes sense, I think. I, f I feel like the motivations for the characters to do the next thing that they do, it, it makes sense. It's not like some TV shows that I want to like, for instance, The Walking Dead, where I, I want to like the characters but they keep making weird choices. Their, their choices don't make sense to me in their characters considering what's happened before and some of their situations just seem like what, why, why did they do that? But I think it also has to do with the fact that the showrunners have been consistent whereas with Walking Dead they've switched showrunners a bunch of times. I don't, I don't want to get too much into that. This, is a walking, this, this isn't a Walking Dead <laughs> podcast announcement. It's an announcement for Game of Thrones. So stay tuned you guys. I am so excited. This clip has gone on long enough. I got to get back to the table for the May painting challenge. But uh, I just want to let you know, if you guys are interested in that, the Lady Boss and I are slowly combing our way through all of the previous episodes and taking notes. We're going to start uh, recording our first official podcast. We've had some test recordings, nothing really that we are happy with. And uh, I just, I can't wait, you guys. It is going to be so much fun. And uh, we're going to post them on Patreon which I will link below because Patreon is kind of uh, my thing now um, because it, uh, contrary to popular belief, I don't just get paid money to do the things that I love to do, like sit and hobby and, and podcast and watch Game of Thrones. So uh, in order to support my studio, if you enjoy all the free content on uh, YouTube and all of the content I'm going to be putting up on, on Patreon for, for my uh, free clients and customers and and audience, then uh, I, we would really appreciate the any kind of donation you want to make to our studio. Okay, that's that's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, but stay tuned because we are going to go all the way through. The plan is hit every single season all the way up to season six, and uh, we're just gonna you know see where it takes us. The Bear and the Maiden Fair, guys. Thanks for listening, and we'll catch you in the next one. <laughs>